Hello family, here I am in York about to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've got loads of little Bibles here for anybody that wants to take one. Um, so here we go. Uh, turn it on. Um, here we go. God bless. A bit of echo, tiny bit. God bless you, York. I have come here to tell you that the living God, he loves you very much. I've also come here to tell you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because when you believe it, it will grant you a place in heaven and you will escape the damnation of hell. Because the Bible makes it expressly clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God and that the wages of sin is death but the free gift of God which God wants to give everyone is everlasting eternal life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, you all have the right to lay hold of your eternal salvation and be sure of where you're spending your eternity. Because this life isn't all there is. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine which one you spend eternity in. Please, repent, change your minds, believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. The gospel is that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. And if you confess Jesus as Lord, do not be ashamed to call upon Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you change your minds and believe the gospel, you will all perish. Please consider what I am saying. This life is but for a moment. Eternity is forever. Therefore, lay hold of your salvation. Change your minds. Repent. Lay hold of your eternal security through Jesus Christ our Lord. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anybody and everybody who believes. It doesn't matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter what you have done. Turn to the Lord Jesus because he has promised that he will not turn anybody away who goes to him in truth. But please do not hesitate any longer because this world is about to witness a great vanishing of all born again Christians in the rapture. The rapture is about to take place when the Lord Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first and then all believers which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus at the rapture Jesus is coming he's about to take all believers up to heaven don't be left behind you don't have to be left behind the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this sinful and adulterous generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. 
Please repent, change your minds. The Lord Jesus is coming. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on Jesus Christ and you will be saved. For there is none other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father God but through me. So please turn to the Lord Jesus. Jesus said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. Be an any man. Stop gambling with your souls. Stop listening to the God of this age, Satan, who has come to steal and to kill and to destroy. Listen to Jesus Christ, who has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. Lay hold of your salvation. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent, change your minds. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your house. Do not be ashamed to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Do not be so busy with your life that you have not got time for your Holy Father in heaven who loves you. And God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell but have everlasting life and granted a mansion in heaven it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter what you have done turn to the lord jesus christ and you will be saved lay hold of your salvation change your minds and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at stake repent for the kingdom of god is at stake jesus christ said unless you repent you will all perish that means unless you repent you will land in hell please Make a decision to, to accept the Lord Jesus into your life. You will realize that that is the best decision that you have ever made. In fact, the most important message that you will ever hear, you are listening to right now. How that Jesus died on the cross for all our sins according to the scriptures. All means all, past, present and future sins. He was buried in a tomb and God raised him to life on the third day. And if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you say, yes, I believe Lord Jesus. Come into my life, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved. That's how simple it is to be saved and know that you are going to heaven and not going down to hell. Please stop listening to the God of this age, Satan. The devil, Satan, is trying to distract you away from Jesus Christ. The devil doesn't want you to be saved. The devil will do anything and everything he can to distract you away from laying hold of your salvation through Jesus Christ. The devil is a liar. Please stop listening to the God of this age and listen to the true God which made heaven, earth, the sea and all that. There it is. Lay hold of your salvation. I know that if I die today, I'm going straight to be with the Lord Jesus. I'm going to heaven. That's where I'm going. Why? Because I believed the gospel of Jesus Christ. I believed that Jesus was crucified on the cross for me, for all my sin, past, present and future. I believed in my heart that God raised him to life on the third day. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and say, yes, I believe, Lord Jesus, don't be ashamed to call upon Jesus and believe 
in your hearts that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is to be saved. And it doesn't matter what you have done, Jesus will not turn anybody away who comes to him. So go to Jesus, believe on Jesus, his death, his burial, his resurrection from that cross for all your sin. Call upon him and you will be saved and you will have eternal security. God bless each and every one of you. I've not come here to judge you and I've not come here to condemn you. I've come here to tell you that this is the last call into the kingdom of God before the rapture takes place. Any moment now and the Lord Jesus Christ is going to descend and take all believers up into heaven in the rapture. This world is about to witness a great vanishing of many people in the rapture. Don't be left behind. Believe on Jesus, his death, burial, resurrection for all your sin. Call upon him and you will be taken up to heaven in the rapture. If you witness a great vanishing of many people when Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, you will still be able to be saved, but you must not take the mark of the beast. Because immediately after the rapture, after Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, the great tribulation will start. A period called the Great Tribulation, seven years of great distress, which is about to start at any moment when this one world leader comes on the world stage proclaiming to have all the answers. He will say that I am the saviour of the world. He will say I am the Messiah, but he is the Antichrist. And he will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. The mark of the beast. Without the mark in your right hand or in your forehead, you will not be able to buy or sell anything. But once you take the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Please, God forbid that this happens to you. It doesn't have to happen to you. The only requirement for you to be saved and know that you are going to heaven is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible makes it very clear that we all have sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes, no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus. He will abundantly pardon your, your sin. He will abundantly receive you and pardon all your transgressions. Because the Bible makes it so clear that we all have sinned. The Bible also makes it clear that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, is everlasting, eternal life through Jesus Christ for anybody and everybody who believes, no matter what you have done. Please turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Time is running out. The Lord Jesus is coming. Please change your minds. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at stake. Your soul is at stake. Your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine where you spend eternity, heaven or hell. And you have the choice. You have the choice where you spend eternity. And there's no other way, there's no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter it, he shall be saved. 
pay on any man. Time is running out. Jesus is coming. Please lay hold of your salvation. It's not about religion. And it doesn't matter what you have done. Turn to the Lord Jesus. Because he will not turn you away. Jesus Christ has promised that he will not turn anybody away. It doesn't matter what you have done. Turn to the Lord Jesus now while you still have chance. Before you witness a great vanishing of all Christians in the rapture. When Jesus takes all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind. The only requirements for you to be saved and know that you are going to heaven and not going down to hell is to believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. That Jesus paid the, the penalty in full on the cross for all our sins. He was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day. And if you believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved, justified before God. Saved, sealed, sanctified, heaven bound and rapture ready. Because the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Please repent. Change your minds. This is the last call into the kingdom of God before the rapture of the church takes place. This is the most important message. Please do not hesitate any longer because the Lord Jesus is coming. Lay hold of your salvation because Jesus said, unless you repent, unless you repent, change your minds from your unbelief and believe the gospel, you will all perish. That means you'll land yourself in hell. Please stop gambling with your soul. There is a heaven and there is a hell. And if you reject the Lord Jesus, you will land yourself straight to hell. Please. Do not reject the very one who could grant you everlasting life and grant you a place in heaven, Jesus Christ. God loves you. I've come here to tell you about the living God. He loves you. I've come here to tell you how simple it is to be saved. That it's not about religion. It's about believing on the Son of God and His sacrifice on the cross. How that Jesus paid the debts in full on the cross for our past, present and future sins. He was buried. He rose again from the dead on the third day. And when you believe this in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. But Jesus said, unless you repent and change your minds, you will all perish. God bless you, God. Lay hold of your salvation. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Checking how long I've been on. Not already thirsty, just get a drink of water. Carry on. Do you go to church? No, sir, I don't go to church. No, yes, no I am the church. Because I go to church. Well, that's good. Though. If you can find, just if you can find a good church, then yes, go for it. Yeah. Which church do you go to? I go to one in Scarborough. Scarborough. I'm from Scarborough. I'm uh, in Eastfield. Oh, in Eastfield, yeah. yeah. I go to uh, down the main street in Eastfield. Going to one top shop. Oh yeah, I know where the top shops are. Well, that, All right. I go to that church there. Are you born again? Yes. Yes, I can see that. I can see the and joy I've of the Lord. And I've been confirmed. You've got the joy of the Lord in you. I can see it. God yes, bless you, sir. Enjoy. God bless you. Right, I'll just I'll just stop this one here and, and upload it and start another. God bless you guys.